ride with Mr. Geek here, and uh, today, first light in the uh, Adley telescope here. So let me show you what we got going on. All right, so I still don't have a base for it. I'm working on that, but uh, the telescope is just kind of thrown together. You can see I've got all the screws holding this, the lower telescope assembly. Uh, they're in, but only a couple of them are actually tight. I've got it roughly balanced here um, with just one screw holding that in, so I can easily move that screw or move the uh, entire assembly back and forth. Um, and then I've got just one screw holding the upper telescope assembly. But I've done the collimation, and I'm going to do a video about the collimation. It's really easy. Um, but right now I'm working on first focus. So what I'm going to be doing is trying to see, basically moving this upper assembly up and down until I can spot that tree way out there. So I can get that in focus. So, uh, yeah, that tree right there, or perhaps the tree's distant, whatever, whichever ones work. So anyway, that's what I'm working on now. And um, I'll explain collimation here in a minute. All right, so I really couldn't film while I was doing it, but what I, was, what I ended up doing was focusing on a stop sign that's about, uh, let's see, it's right uh, between those two trucks off the distance. Uh, right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right at the end, right where you can see there's an intersection in the road. So that's a, I don't know, 300 feet. Um, and then there's a the tree fur off and I was able to get focus on both of those. So I just moved the uh, upper telescope assembly up about a quarter of an inch. So, oops. So I've got that tightened. And, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this inside and then I'll tell you about collimation. So collimation is simply the act of getting this mirror, that mirror, and this square. So you can see, if I put the camera up here, it's I'm, what I'm doing is I'm actually looking at uh, the mirror down at the bottom, the lower telescope assembly. So the way it works is you take these 3D printed pieces and you just set this on the mirror and center it on the mirror. And it's, you don't have to get it super, super exact, but you know, get it as close as you reasonably can without, and you know, don't touch the mirror. And then, if that's if that looks good, which it, it kind of does. There, that looks good. Let me take this piece. And you can shine lights and stuff in it, but I just looked at it. And if I look in it, you can see that it's, uh, you're supposed to be able to see the see the, the length of the tube. So I'm gonna look through it here. And when I look through it, it's not really lined up anymore. Um, I don't know if it's visible through this, but it's, let me see if I can zoom in. zoom out. No, definitely not that. <laughs> Actually, that might be better. I don't know. This thing has different cameras on it uh, for all these different thing, fancy stuff. But you can kind of see that it's not really lined up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust these screws on the bottom. Let me put this back. <laughs> Sorry for the wobble cam. So by adjusting those uh, those adjusters on the bottom there that moves the mirror up and down on the on that tripod on those three mounts so I'm gonna do that and get that thing lined up and then I'm going to tighten everything down that's it all right so all of the bolts are in and it's just on the upper telescope assembly there's th three bolts and each one just tightens it to the rod middle telescope assembly also three bolts and the, the lower tel telescope assembly has six. And I may, you know, the height's gonna have to be adjusted. Um, 
once I get a base for it, uh, for it to sit on. I'm not really sure how high I'm going to need it to be. Um, so I'm working on that. But i um, probably use collimating one more time, and I will do that. But for now, it should be good. And, and this telescope is really forgiving for beginners. Um, I've never done this before. I don't know anything about telescopes until I got ahead, until I started building Hadley. So um, I hope this has just been you know, somewhat informative to you and kind of demystifies a little bit of it. Um, and, and to be clear, by the way, I did, part of the collimation that I did was adjusting this, the secondary, so that it pointed directly into the focuser. Uh, so just twisting it and then adjusting up here until I could see the entire tube. Um, and I could see the, the bottom, uh, the, the primary mirror. So you have to be able to see it and that's, that's super easy. Again, it's just these three adjustments and you know, you don't want to tighten them over. You don't want to tighten all of them. Like this one, this one's loose, right? Um, the idea is just to tighten them enough to, to point in the direction you need. And if you have some longer arms, you can do the bottom one but while you're looking through the, uh, through the eyepiece. So, cause the bottom one, in fact, let me show you the assembly. It's really simple. Inside here is a captive lock nut. It's a nylon uh, nut, and that holds this screw tight. So this screw doesn't turn. This spring pushes this pushes this uh, hold the lens or the mirror holder away from this assembly, and when I turn this, it just simply moves the the bolt in and out. That's it. So that's how it's pointed, just by adjusting these three. So it's real, real simple. Anyway, again, I hope this has de demystified it for you and kind of makes sense. So thanks for watching the video. I sure appreciate it. And if you have comments, please leave them below. Take care.